What's your nationality? Uh, black. Black? Is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? Does God call you black? He called you the Israelite. Oh, you, know what, you know what Israel means? Genesis 32, 24, 28. You know what Israel means? Uh, no, what does it mean? I'm going to show you in the Bible what it means. You know why it's that? Black means what? Look at the definition of black. You know what it means? Darkness, oh, yeah. evil, dirty, all these bad, all these bad things. I mean, and then white means here, holy. But that goes back all the way. Right, evil. Back to, you know, the slavery. slavery. But watch what God called uh, you. Oh yeah, true. This is the book of Genesis, chapter thirty-two, Western. verse twenty-eight. Watch what God said about this name Israel. And He said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Shall call no more Jacob, but what? But Israel. But Israel, because it means what? For as a prince. As a what? As a prince. What is the Israelites? As a prince. God call you blacks and Hispanics. What? As a prince. You're supposed to be the princes of the earth. But why are we at the bottom? Bring it out. Read. Has not power with God. We're supposed to have power with God. But no longer have we power with God because we disobeyed God. Right. We broke God's commandments. Right. The prophets is out giving the solutions. What are you doing? Walking up and down the street thinking about Mother's Day. That's evil. God didn't give us Mother's Day to keep. God said, honor your father and mother every day. Bring it out. But why do we keep it for one day? Because we discontinued from the Bible. We discontinued from that. But read it again. Look at verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. God calls you Israel. That's your name. Read. For as a prince. As a what? As a prince. Read. Has thou power with God. Right. That make you feel good. Right? You're a prince. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're a prince. You got power with God. But you know what happened? Yes, sir. Isaiah 58. <laughs> Watch what happened. Okay, okay. Put on that beautiful garment. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 1. 52 on 52, yeah, 52 on 1. Watch what happened. You once was a prince. You had power with God. Then that happened to you. You got destroyed, went into slavery. And then after you got destroyed and went into slavery, this happened to you. You was given white man Jesus. So now your, 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 uh, your self-esteem is destroyed because everything that deal with God is white. So you don't see nothing in yourself. But now we come back out here and show you an Israelite. You're a prince that have power with God. Jesus is actually a black man and this is garbage. This is the Antichrist that the Bible talks about. Now God is telling you this, read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 52. Verse 1. Read. Awake. What? Awake. Put on thy Read strength. For the top. Awake. What? Awake. Jamal, you got to awake. Awake. Wake up. You're an Israelite. Read. Put on thy strength. Oh, Zion. God said, put your strength on. That's the laws of God. Right. It's not a cigarette. That's not your strength. That's your destruction. That's your kryptonite. You the real Superman. That's why they try so hard to destroy the black man. Right. Because they know how great you are. When you get your mind right, you're going to wake up and go wake your people up. That's right. Uh, you're going to get these communities fixed. Because this ain't no heaven. Look where we living at. Look at these stores. Look at these conditions. This is hell. We don't know nothing about ourselves. Look how our women dress. Half naked, ass out, leggings on. That's not right. Look how our men dress walking up and down the street sagging. Pants below their behind. Well, I would have to say. That's not right. Is that right? That? What's wrong with I'm going to show you. <laughs> Put on that beautiful garment. Is it beautiful to say? Is it beautiful to say? Huh? I mean, it depends on who it is. No, is it beautiful for us to say? Oh, yeah. Young man, let me ask you something. Do you speak English? No. You do? You just said no. You don't speak English? Yeah, no a little bit. No English. No English, a little bit. Watch this. You, you speak something. Read this. This bitch just lied to me right to my face. Read. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Don't say no. <laughs> Put on thy 
my strength. Oh, Zion. <laughs> they put on your strength. Our people be lying, man. <laughs> they always lie. They don't want to hear the word of God, bro. No, bro. But it said, put on thy strength, Reed. Put on thy beautiful garment. Is it beautiful to sag? That's what I'm asking you. Because God said, put on beautiful garment. So I'm asking you, is it beautiful to sag? Like is that. it beautiful for, uh, for people to be sagging? No. Read. Oh, Jerusalem, the holy city. Uh -huh. God don't want us to be uncircumcised, meaning what? In sin. So now, 2 Samuel 2 and 10. I mean, 2 Samuel 10 and 4. Because you said about sagging, why, right? You said yeah, why? I was just I was just trying I'm to. I'm going to show you, though. I'm going to show you how our forefathers looked at sagging in the Bible. No, sagging is not cool. It's not cool. You got to be, uh, yeah. it's like, you know, it's teenage. Four. This is book of 2 Samuel chapter 10, verse 4. Wherefore, Hanan took David's servants. So this Hanan, he's a heathen. He took uh, uh, David, King David in the Bible, you heard of him? The mighty man, he slew Goliath when he was a young man. You heard that story, David, Goliath? No. You ain't never heard of that? Okay, so David was a mighty man, he was a king. The second king of Israel, the greatest king of Israel, beside Christ. He took five stones, took him, slew Goliath. How you doing, bro? He slew Goliath. So now, David, he's the king, he has men in his army, and this heathen king, watch what he do to our, our brothers, Lee. And shaved off the one half of their beards. So this king, heathen, took a so-called black man, took his beard, shaved it off. He shaved off a corner of his beard. You know why that was disrespectful? Because God never told us to shave our beards off. It's unlawful for us to run around clean face. That's a sin. It's okay to get lined up. But when you shake your beard off, you sin it. This is what a white man, he wow. did this to us in slavery, and what do you call it? What do you call it when you shake our beard off? Boy. Yeah, come here, boy. Because when you shake your beard off, you a man, you look like a what? A boy! So God said, keep a beard in your And shake off the one half of their beard uh -huh. and cut off their garments in the middle even to their buttocks so what even to their what even to their buttocks so he cut their garment off in the middle to where they butt was showing okay, okay. let's see if they say oh this is cool uh, this is cool for my ass to be hanging out in the world to see let's see and sent them away uh-huh when they told it out to date he sent to meet them because the men were greatly ashamed the man was what Greatly ashamed. It was a shame that they Today, is men ashamed to have their pants below their ass? You said they're ashamed. Is men ashamed to do that now? No. So we we not ashamed. I'm grown, so I'm like... talking about the ones that do it. <laughs> oh. Do you do you see correction going on in our community? About people sagging their pants below their behind? Do you see anybody coming up and say, hey, pull your damn pants up, that shit is wrong? No! <laughs> we glorify it! I do. I you know do. why? Because what they do is they got their pants below their ass. They got 30s and, and, and Draco clips. And they walk around with their gun like we some cowboys. And walk around trying to show they tough. The whole time, God said it was what? That was what? Even to the buttocks. When they told it out to David, he said to meet them. Because the men were greatly ashamed. That was a, a shame. So that's one thing we're not supposed to do. Now when I said the beard thing, he was like, huh? I'm going to show you that too. Video 21. Uh, I'm going to show you, in the Bible, God told us we're not supposed to shave our beard. Because why? Who image was we made in? Yeah. Who image was we made in? Uh, Hold oh, that Genesis God's, 1. Huh? God's image. Okay, I'm going to show you. That's right. We were made in God's image. But watch this. 26. Come on. Look at Genesis. So the one verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. In what? In our image. So we, the black man, was made in God's image. Let's see how God looks. <laughs> this book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So God don't have a bald head. Because he told us to do what? They shall not make baldness upon their head. So is God void? 
Do we real quickly go like this and change the hair, bro? All this picture, man. All this picture with hair. Right, he got hair. He got hair on his face. So Christ said, you that was made in my image, what you supposed to do? You said what was that? You that's made in the image of God, what are you supposed to do? If God don't shave his hair, boy, you're not supposed to do what? Oh, that shit my hair, boy. You're not supposed <laughs> to shave your hair, boy, Jamal. <laughs> Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You see that? That's what we just read, that Hamnon did to the, the uh, men of Judah. He shaved off their beard. That was disrespectful because it, it was against our laws. We're not supposed to do that stuff. Right, 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 right. But now today we do it so easy. We shave off our beard and try to get the goatee and look smooth. That ain't smooth. That shit is, that's sin. That's sin. Read. Nor make any cutties in their flesh. You got that too? No. That's good. Don't get yeah, that. Yeah. Because God said what? That's Nor sin. Read. Nor make any cutties in their flesh. God said don't make cutties in your flesh. Don't do that stuff. Well, let me ask you, why you out here? What you doing out here today? Um, man, I'm just out here, you know, had duty yesterday. What's that? Doing good. Duty. Very, you know, just, just doing some, you know, duty. Just, you know, going through hard times right now? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I gave one. You need yeah, a regular I, one. Yeah, I appreciate it. You need a regular one. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just out here, you know. I'm just out here, you know. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be a day. All right. You got a job? Yeah. No, I'm definitely looking. I'm like, you looking? Yeah. That's the only I'm going to show you something that I said. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Because, God, how you doing, bro? You got a flyer? Get one of these flies real quick. You're an Israelite, bro. Read that. Yeah. Book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 10. So watch what God said. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you. So Paul said, when we was with you, this we commanded you. Just like Paul was with the Thessalonians, he commanded them, we gonna do the same thing. So you as a man, these are the steps you gotta take to be able to Stand up as a man, right? Read. That if any would not work, neither should he eat. So God says if a man don't work, he shouldn't eat. So what is he saying? You need to provide for yourself correct, so right. you can be able to eat for yourself. Correct, correct. Because living off another man, it's not a life. No, it's right. suck. No, 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 no. It's no. suck, bro. <laughs> to wait for somebody else to come bring you food to feed you. Yeah. That's horrible. And you know in these places where they house our people at, in these homes, or for our people that don't have homes, these shelters, they force you to believe in white Jesus. They force you to believe in this. And if you don't go to church, they're going to they gonna force you to go to church or you can't stay here no more. Yeah. Go get on the streets. Yeah. I've heard about these things in these places, bro. It's evil. Yeah. Watch this, Reed. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Right? Now go to uh, Timothy now. Give me the one in Timothy. Three and five. Watch what God says, 2 Timothy 3 and 5, about work as a man. Read it. So God gave us law. Sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all know y'all the Israelites? Y'all don't know y'all the greatest thing God made? Y'all don't care? Damn, y'all got time for God. That's our people, bro. They don't have time for God. Well, guess what? As soon as somebody died, oh God, please, please. When the prophets was out here trying to give you God, you didn't want to hear it. Now when you, your, your brother dead, your sister dead, your mama dead, now you're screaming for God. That's what's going on in our community. Read that. Yes. Look at 1 Timothy chapter 5 then, verse 8. I think definitely more now is definitely more. Right. But if any provide not for his own. See that? If you don't provide for your own, especially for those of his own health. Especially, let's say you got family, you got eating family, you got sons, you got daughters. Uh, no, I got family. You got family? Yeah. He has denied the faith. Christ is saying if you don't provide for yourself, if you don't uh, uh, take care and work and get a job, he's saying you're denying the faith. You're denying Christ because God made you in the image and you have to work. You have to. But guess what? Shalom 715. Sometimes we hate trying to find those hard. You might have to get a job, a warehouse, you got to stay on your feet 10, 12 hours. Just starting off. You might have to do that. 
Because I have to do that. Stand in a place, 10, 12 hours on my feet, all day, one damn break, 20 minutes. It sucked. But guess what? I had to do it to be able to vibe for myself. Because us, us, we supposed to be what? Men. We the men, we the leaders. So we have to stand up and actually apply. Let's look at some rock. To the seven verse 15. Hate not laborious work. God said don't hate laborious. You know what laborious means? Hard work. Yeah. Like damn, I got a shovel. Yeah. I want to work in landscape and you got a shovel out the gravel and throw it out on the ground. Oh man, this is hard work. Yeah. God said don't hate laborious work. Sophia. Sophia, how you doing? Hello. Sophia, real quick. Look, look. Look at this right here. Is this not our history? Right here that happened to the black Hispanic? Look, yes. come on, sis, yes. come on. Yes. What yes. happened to it? We got annihilated. We got annihilated, right? Why? why? Because look, me, uh, what's, the, what's the nationality? I'm uh, Native American. Native American, especially Native American. Yeah. I'm so called African American. So look, our people got annihilated. Right here, so called Native American. You see that? Yeah. Our history was taken from us. Before the white man even came over here, a lot of times Native Americans were going to leave the fight like that. A lot of them. Well, but look right here. The Ten Commandments, uh, in Hebrew, written in a stone in New Mexico. So before the white man came, y'all had the Bible already with the uh, records and the commandments of God in Hebrew. So guess what? The Bible is your book. This is your book. This is your history. Did you know why this happened? Even like this, you know Mother's Day, right? Y'all mother? Watch this. Look at this Bible. He never told us to celebrate that, but he told us in the Ten Commandments to honor your father and mother every day. But God in this society, a woman named Anna uh, uh, Jarvis in 1904, in, in 1914, it got established as a day to celebrate in America. And now we're doing it today. But it's pagan because it go back to even Roman times where they was worshiping uh, Roman gods, like you read about on the flyer. So this stuff that we're doing in today's society, we have fell from our history. Even the Native Americans with the French. You see these we wear on our garments and on our shirts? You know why? Because God told us we're supposed to wear these to remember his laws. But we forgot his laws. God calls you, you know what Gad means in the Bible? Or uh, Native Americans, what God calls you, he calls you Gad. Like if you look on the back of that flyer right here. Look, I'm gonna show you Right here, Gad, you see that? That, you know what Gad means? It means truth. The Bible been talking about your history. Right. Y'all was known for being warriors in the Bible. But you know what happened? The warrior spirit diminished. When a white man came over here with Columbus and all the other conquistadors, he took the land, he destroyed y'all, made y'all go into uh, 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 slavery, took your kids, put them in boarding schools, the spirit got diminished. And now guess what? You see reservations, you see a lot of our Native American brothers, they just drinking and they, they just drinking and trying to let the day pass. But no, God said in the last days, the prophecy, I'm going to show you before you leave, Genesis 49. Watch what God said about Gad. Watch, watch what God said about the so-called Native American. I, I like what you're saying. We probably have five. That's for five minutes. Uh, yep. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm reading this one scripture for y'all. Okay. Uh, Gad. Yep. Let's go to Genesis chapter 49, verse 19. Read. Gad. What? Gad. That's what God called you in the Bible. Gad. That's what he called the so-called Native American. Y'all are the troops, the warriors. God said, you know, we waiting on y'all. That's how we gonna get out of this place. The white man has beat y'all down so hard that y'all have lost your history. But watch this, read. A troop shall overcome him. You know who that troop was? Andrew Jackson, the white man. He came with a Gatling gun. You know, they made guns and machine guns because your people were so wise and, and smart and warriors and came up with, uh, was doing the customs of our forefathers, which is called guerrilla warfare with the American government used today to use that war tactic. What is this for? That was our stuff. Huh. All our military tactics, they was using that. But watch this, read. A troop shall overcome him. God said he will overcome you, the white man, but watch what God said at the end. But he shall overcome at the last. God said you gonna overcome at the last when you come back to your history as being Israelites. That's what y'all are. Israelites, all right? Remember that on the back, our information at the bottom. Look into it. But God is the mighty truth. That's what we come out here to show our people. We are God's chosen. You are Israelite, all right? Remember that and repent. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 
nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 